Ha. Ha. 120 over 66. There you go. There's the verdict. For day 10, 120 over 66 for blood pressure and for uh, blood sugar. 10.3. Not bad. A little. I don't like to go over 10, but 10.3 is fairly acceptable. So there you have it. Let's get on with the show. I've got a lot to tell you. See ya. Welcome to the eFlexonics Podcast Network. Join us for the latest tips and tricks from experts in their fields, showing you how you can be happy, healthy, and more productive when using technology, either at home or at work. Remember, tech shouldn't have to hurt. Our motto is, everything healthful and helpful for the computer user. Enjoy the show, Rick and Pat. Day 10, welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. I am in a significant pain, but you wouldn't know it from my actions, would you? Now, pain threshold is about an 8. I went into to Vancouver today to get the MRI done. <laughs> and very professional people at False Creek uh, Diagnostics. But uh, what they want to do is, I thought I had a piece of metal in my, my nose. An x-ray showed about 25 years ago. So I told them about it, and they said, oh, well, we got to have, you know, we can't have pieces of metal floating around your brain when we're going to have an MRI because it's a very strong magnet. So we're going to take an x-ray of your orbital socket and your, your nasal, you know, up to here. So guess what they had me do? They said, okay, you got to put your neck way, 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 and I mean way up on the board. And uh, <laughs> painful, oh, my goodness. So by the time I got to the MRI, splitting headache. But you know what? I'm glad it's over. Now, Here's how efficient and effective these people are. The, the x-ray took about 20 seconds. The MRI took about 20, 25 minutes, all told. I was just getting off the table of the MRI. And the technician was handing me a disc of the pictures. Now, it's going to be three to five days before someone, a doctor there, can diagnose and read that. Because I'm not a doctor. I mean... I look at the pictures and I see my spine, I see my spine going like this for the most part and then when it gets to the neck, it kind of goes like, it, it, there's no kind of a body, it goes like this. So I, I'm no doctor, I'm not, I, I can't read these things, but it, it's got a curvature that way <laughs> to the right hand side and that's where I've been having problems. So we're going to have an answer, but today I want to talk to you about reflexology. I used to teach reflexology. Now, in a moment, I'm going to I'm going to go on a web page, geekwise, and I'm going to read for you the one of the best explanations of reflexology I have ever seen. I'm going to show you how to effectively work your back. Now, here's the thing: Do people re believe in reflexology? Yes. Do I believe in reflexology? I, here's what I believe: There are 7,200 nerves on the foot alone. 7,200. If you doubt me, go check it out. There are nerves all over the body. So I believe that there is an electrical charge or an electrical influence through the sodium-potassium pump that can be influenced through reflexology in scientific terms. Just to say, oh, it's magic and it works, doesn't cut it for me. So I'm going to show you what I used to teach in my class, reflexology class. And uh, they really enjoyed it. So today we're going to do the back. Okay. So take one of your hands. If you're right-handed, you're going to work with your right hand, right? So take your left hand and hold that up in front of you. And take your fingers from your right hand in a C-clamp. So this is the, the finger and this is the thumb, right? So here's what you want to do. I'll hold my hand this way, okay? So you want to inch inch away, inch your fingers, and you want to keep your your thumb like this. So you've got pressure on both sides. You see that? So you've got pressure here on both sides areas of right in between right in between the fingers this is the pathway for the muscles of the back right so even if you're sloppy at it even if you don't know exactly what you're doing don't worry about it just all you have to do is pinch all the way up and you are going to find some tender areas don't worry about you know using your thumbs and fingers properly just just pinch all the way up little tiny tiny little steps and in later shows, I will show you how to effectively use your thumb and your fingers. But watch this. Okay, so I'm working. And by the way, you'll find this really fascinating. This, this is your outer back this way. 
Okay, so if I flip my hand like this, if I'm working on my back of my hand, it is th the back of the, the body this way. If I'm working on my right hand, right here, right he this this finger here, right, between these bones, it is that way of the back. Okay, so if I hold my two hands up like this, it is a visual representation of my back. Back of the hand, up for the back in reflexology. So let's go like this. So I'm working all the way up, and I'm applying pressure, and I'm pinching all the way up from the webbing of the f fingers all the way up to the wrist. You do that for, say, five or ten minutes per hand while you're watching television. Hmm. And uh, you should notice your back muscles start to do some interesting things. Either you'll notice them started to relax, or you will notice your entire body start to relax. I personally think, I think that it sends a signal to your body to relax completely in some area. Probably in the area you, you need the most healing. I mean, come on, if somebody, if somebody puts on soothing music, and you really enjoy soothing music, it's not, you know, you, you can't send it to a specific area in your body, but it makes your entire body feel better, doesn't it? I kind of believe the same thing about reflexology. Uh, I want to I wanna approach reflexology more of a scientific base. And in future shows, I certainly will. So, uh, coming up now is a, uh, I'm going to read from the website, so you can educate yourself and find out what other people are saying about reflexology, what it is and what it isn't. I don't want to make promises that we can't, refle as reflexologists, cannot keep. All right? See you next show, and keep working on the back muscles, folks. All right, day 11 coming up. Bye-bye. All right. So here we go. I want to show you a, an extremely good explanation of reflexology. And I used to teach, I taught it for about five years through the adult education um, departments of local school boards. So here we go. It's from Wise Geek Clear Answers for Common Questions. Reflexology is a type of therapy that involves the massaging of the feet to treat and heal an individual's entire body. It can also include the hands. It is said to be gentle non uh, type of therapy used to restore the body's natural balance as well as to help maintain its equilibrium. Sometimes reflexology involves the hands and ears as well as the feet. In most cases, however, only the feet are involved. Historically, the use of reflexology dates back to ancient China, Egypt, and Greece. However, it wasn't introduced to Western civilizations until the 20th century, when a doctor named William Fitzgerald first introduced it to the West. He referred to this type of treatment as zone therapy. Today, reflexology is used as a therapeutic treatment for a full range of conditions, including back pain, sports injuries, migraines, and arthritis. This type of therapy is even said to be effective in treating infertility, digestive disorders, hormonal imbalances, and sleep disorders. Furthermore, many believe it to be a particularly helpful in the treatment of a full range of stress-related conditions. However, it is not a cure for medical conditions or diseases. I believe that wholeheartedly. Perhaps one of the most important uses of reflexology is for stress relief. In today's world, individuals are faced with ever-increasing levels of physical, mental, and emotional stress. Reflexology therapy can act as an effective tool in relaxing the body and the mind, relieving stress and helping to restore a general feeling of well-being. People of all ages may benefit from reflexology treatment, while some individuals may choose to enjoy the therapy on an occasional basis. Many choose to receive such treatments regularly. Many individuals who seek regular treatments believe doing so helps them maintain their health and well-being. Reflexology is not just recognized by those interested in alternative treatments and therapies. Many medical doctors and other health care professionals also recognize it as an effective therapeutic treatment. Some recommend it to their patients as a supplement to medical care. Reflexology is performed by a practitioner who is trained and educated in the use of zone therapy. It is said that a trained professional reflexologist may be able to detect subtle changes in the zones of the feet. By applying pressure to a specific zone, a reflexologist may be able to affect the organ of the body system that is believed to correspond with that particular zone. 
A reflexology treatment typically lasts for about an hour. During this time, a reflexologist will use her, his hands or her feet, uh, especially the thumbs. <laughs> Wait a minute. A reflexologist uses his or her hands, <laughs> especially the thumbs, to apply pressure to the feet, the amount and location of the pressure, as well as the effect of, of the treatment. It is said to depend on the unique needs of the individual. Now, tonight, I showed you how to work the back, and I used the forefinger or the first finger mostly. You can use the thumb, but I found that this way with the C-clamp configuration on the back of the hand, on the up top of the hand, works better. So that is probably the, the best explanation I've ever heard of reflexology. Usually when I used to teach, it was a night school course, um, and it was would run for about, I don't know, six or seven weeks, and it would be two hours uh, uh, each each time, so 14 hours, or a, an entire day class on a Saturday. So we got to go into the history of reflexology. We got to go into features and benefits. So we, we slowly built up uh, an education for the client. So this, this um, article is extremely well done. So folks, keep, keep doing the, the hand reflexology.